Hey, it's Terry. This week, I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked again and again. And it's a question that I used to ask myself also. That is, should you live off your trading profits or let it grow? I say that it depends. Why? It will depend on your goals and of course, your current account balance. If your goal is to leave your work and trade full-time, it's likely that you have to have built up your account to a significant size to then live off from. But if your goal is to create a retirement nest egg, then it's also likely that you need to then let it grow over time without ever touching it. This video will give you that clarity that you need and not be sucked into some false dream and think that you can replace your income with a small trading account size. I'm here to shed some light in regards to the realities of trading. Have you ever heard of the 90-90-90 rule? It simply states that 90% of all traders lose over 90% of their account in less than 90 days. It's a very sad but very true statistic. For clarity, it's actually probably best that I explain this with an example. Let's say that we have a $10,000 account. And say you want to replace your salary of $50,000 a year. This then means that you have to generate a 500% return on that small $10,000 account to replace your income. But please bear in mind that the world's best achieve a 20 to 30% return year in, year out. So to believe that you can achieve a 500% return is unrealistic and also very dangerous because of the risk that you'll try to take in achieving this. You also likely lose the entire account while using financial leverage. However, for someone who is lucky enough to have a, say a $200,000 account, to achieve a $50,000 means that you have to achieve a more, you can achieve a more realistic 20 to 25% return. Also, it's still a very tough ask, it's much more achievable. I also began very small, slowly but surely getting there. I didn't spend it because I had separated this account into a pure trading account. And so I knew that right from the start, this was gonna be my financial freedom. But if I was to spend it or spend the profits, then I would not have to be able to gradually grow and build this trading stake and build my wealth also. Here, I also wanna explain the rule of 72. Some people may have heard of this rule, but for those who haven't, it really simply means that it's easy to calculate the time it takes to double your investment if you achieve a specific return. So say you achieve a 20% per annum. If you take 72 and divide that by 20, it means that in about three and a half years, you'll double that money to $20,000. What people forget that is if they don't spend this account, this increased account, then through the power of compound interest, it then takes another three and a half years to then double that again to say $40,000. And then another three and a half years to then double that again to $80,000. So just in over a decade, you've taken that $10,000 and increased it by over eight times, simply because you haven't spent it. If you allow the profits to compound and generate returns over the years, it just compounds itself. This is why famous uh, Albert Einstein used to call compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. So while, while we begin investing in uh, our trading journey, find other ways to supplement our income if you begin with a very small account. And by doing so, you not only relieve the stress or pressure of needing to achieve unrealistic returns to fund your lifestyle, but you also become a much better investor and trader since you now focus on the process and not the results, which is really the return or the income to live on. Growing your investment and trading account does take time. Nobody said it was easy, but which is why a lot of people think it's impossible. However, by taking your time, doing so without that added pressure of the needing to fund your lifestyle with the profits, focusing on the process to become the best investor or trader over time, and then letting compound interest take effect, your account will slowly but surely build up over time. This is really what I did right from the beginning and uh, starting from scratch as well. So become the tortoise that actually wins the race and don't become the hare. Hey guys, it's Terry. Hope you like this episode. If you did, you can do two things right now to continue your journey. Firstly, you can subscribe right here to my channel 
which will allow you to receive my videos on a fortnightly basis to help you in your investing and trading journey. And secondly, you can go to my website and get my Fast Start 10 Step Stock Checklist and video lessons for free by simply clicking on the link right here. So if you'd like to do that, just click on any of the buttons that you see here. I really look forward to seeing you on the next video and showing you even more tips and tricks to achieving consistent investing and trading results.